Hi guys, I just wanted to check in for your weekly activity and let you know that you're going to be reading a book this week um, about killer whales and killer whales are sometimes called orcas. So I want to be able to give you a little bit of information about the book that you're going to read um, and then give you some tips for the reading time. So for their introduction, um, you're going to be learning a lot of different facts um, about killer whales and orcas and Really, your job is to kind of be thinking about while you're reading three new facts. So something that you haven't learned about orcas or killer whales in the past, something that you didn't know about them. So we're going to be learning about particularly where they live, how they live, um, what type of food they eat. You're going to learn lots of those types of, of information. And you're also going to be learning some special features that they have. And one of those features is they have a they have a blowhole. So a lot of you guys know they have a blowhole kind of on the top of their, um, it's like towards their head, but on top of their back. And that helps them to breathe. So the word breathe is actually a word that's going to come up quite a few times in the text. And I wanted to write that word down for you so that you know what that word looks like. So let me write that on my whiteboard here to show you. And what I want you to notice about this word breathe is if you look at it closely, there's probably a word in there you might recognize. And that word is the word breath. So the word breath is like when you take a breath, you get some air. And then what I know about this word is I know that sometimes this E on the end acts like um, a silent E, which is what happens here in this word. And it makes the vowel say its name. So in this case, there are two vowels, that E and the A, which we know is a vowel team. E, A together says E. And that's what's happening in this word, that E is silent on the end. And this one says E. So that's how we get the word breathe. So you might have to do this with some of the words that you're going to see in this book that you're reading. You might have to think about some of the rules that you know about words that you've learned to help you to figure it out. And this is a word you're going to see quite a few times. Another thing you're going to learn that's really interesting about killer whales is that they use something that's called echolocation. Why don't you say that with me right where you're at? Echolocation. And here's what that word looks like. And this word is also a word you're probably going to see quite a few times in the text. And this is actually a compound word because there's two words in this word. Here's the word echo. Here's the word location. Now, another trick that you can use to help figure out words like this that are really long is to do what I just did and break it apart into smaller words. Or I even noticed that there was a word here, like when I look at this part, locate. Locate actually has an E on the end, but I was able to recognize that part as a word that I know. So I, that, I can use that to help me to figure out this big word. Some of you also might have noticed the ending here. So like I know a word that kind of looks like this word and maybe you know it too. Let me write it down for you. And there's actually quite a few words I could share with you, but here's one that's coming to my mind. This word is education. So when I know there's another word that has that same part on the end, that's another tip that you can use to help you figure out words that you don't know. You can look for the parts in the word, especially endings, or if it has like a prefix on the beginning, you can take those parts out of the word to help you figure out those words. So echolocation is when there's a sound that the whale makes and it actually bounces off of something else and the sound comes back. So it helps them to be able to communicate with other whales um, out in the ocean and to be able to even hunt and find food. So you're gonna read about that in your, in your text um, this week. So I wanted to share that word with you as well. So um, the other thing is, I think I have one more tip. It's just, I want you to think about those three questions. When you're reading, since I'm there to help read with you, I want you to continuously ask yourself these three questions. When you get stuck on a word and you try to make sense of that word, I want you to think about, does the word that you picked to read does it make sense? Does it look right? Meaning if you know you're reading about whales and there's a word that you're putting in there that doesn't really make sense or probably wouldn't go on that page, use the pictures to help you, um, then try a different word. And then again, does it sound right? So that's, that's, does it make sense? Like, would you say it that way? If you were to tell somebody that sentence, would you say it that way? So important tips for you um, to think about while you're reading is to ask yourself those three questions. Does it look right? 
Does it sound right? And does it make sense? And if you're still stuck on that word, hopefully there's somebody at home, um, an older sibling, an adult, a parent, um, grandparent who might be able to help you out with that word. But do the best that you can. And again, use your pictures around you. Use those clues, the parts of, of the words to be able to help you break it down to figure out those new words. So um, I want you guys to, we're going to do what, just one more word together. So let me do this one here. I have some words I wrote down that I wanted to work on with you before you get to your reading. So here's a word um, that you'll also see in your text. And when I look at this word, there might be a part that you know. Go ahead and look at this word and see if there's a part that you know in this word. Okay, some of you saw the word any. Some of you saw this word here. Now, if you saw this word and thought this word was were, Let's try it with any. So let's put it together. Any were. Hmm. I don't think that's a word that I've heard of before. So that's the kind of thing I want you to think about is if it doesn't really make sense. Go back at it again and try a different word. So this word, what do you think it might be if it's not were? Yes, this word is where. Now let's put that together. Anywhere. That's a word that I know. So you try those types of things too to help you out. I'll be trying to give you tips each week um, for the reading part at home. You're going to notice that on the Power Score Learning page, there is a read aloud. There's a video of me reading the entire um, book aloud in case you need that support or if you can go back after and look up the words that were difficult for you. But I really want you to try reading it on your own first. So please don't watch that video first. Try to read the book on your own before you go to the read aloud. So again, you are reading to learn three new facts. I shared a couple of them in this video with you, but I want you to try to find three different facts that you didn't know about killer whales and see if you can find the answer to why they call them wolves of the sea. You're gonna be able to answer that too. So good luck, have fun reading.